Welcome back to the channel, people. This is Moving to Texas. My name is Trevon. I work with Century 21, Mike Bowman, and we're going to talk about the Texas metropolitan area that might be the most popular and might be the most hottest area in real estate in 2025. Century 21 Real Estate. Move fearlessly. Let's get right into this article from the New York Post. This Texas metropolitan area was named the hottest spot for real estate investment. So everything is bigger in Texas, and that includes the demand for the Dallas-Fort Worth real estate market. DFW Metroplex has been crowned the nation's top spot for the real estate investment and development for 2025. A surge in population and a rock solid economy have made DFW the place to buy, build and finance property. The Metro has climbed from third place last year to grab the top ranked spot now, marking its sixth year in the top 10. Wow, six years in the top 10, it's pretty solid. This is a lot of land, a lot of land. North Texas has been forced in the game before taking the number one spot back in 2019. Analysts attribute the area's winning streak to its powerful post-pandemic recovery and relentless growth. Port highlights the total employment in Dallas-Fort Worth has been jumped over 11% since February 2020, a rate only surpassed by Raleigh, Charleston, and Austin, all of which are southern boom towns. And we saw what happened in Austin. They got smacked around recently. Or I think they're evening, evening out, but yeah, they were beat up um, for a few years. With 23 Fortune 500 giants calling DFW home, this economic powerhouse has more big name companies than almost any other region in the U.S., adding to its drawn for investors. Yeah, there's some. I've done a video on companies moving to the area. I mean, pretty much name a top company, and they are setting up headquarters near, around, or around the vicinity. Of the, DF, of the DFW Metroplex. So as far as, I mean, and we're supposed to compete with New York as far as apartments built by the end of this year and 2025, I believe, which I did another report on. I can't remember if it was 2025 and 20, 2026, but I know that we were three units less than New York or on paper, three units less than New York for the end of this year. So pretty crazy. So the report attributes this ranking to DFW's robust pandemic recovery economic diversity and strong demographic growth with total employment rising 11.2 percent since 2020 placing it fourth in the nation behind other sunbelt regions this area's affordability remains relatively attractive with the median home prices at 382 close to the national median despite a 38 percent increase in 2020. while housing prices in dallas have surged by nearly 38 percent since 2020 the metro remains relatively affordable compared to the other major cities the median home price of 382 isn't far from the national median making it a relatively appealing option for investors and new residents alike dallas continues to attract new businesses and residents who are capitalizing on an attractive economic climate availability of new highly skilled talent and first-class developments Lots of exciting news and then let's see if they, maybe they'll have a list here. Cause I've seen other reports. Many of the cities in Tarrant County are in the top hundred for growing US markets. So uh, yeah, the growth that's gonna be coming this way is, is pretty exceptional. So North Texas also stands out for its impressive five and 10 year real estate returns hitting nearly 8% annually, the best performance among Texas metros. Yeah, I mean, if you, I, I've seen so many people who they bought a home before 2019, even in 2020, to a degree, if they bought in the right areas, I mean, they basically doubled their equity or can, you know, they have to sell it and still get the dollar price, but still so much equity in these homes, so much equity. Uh, but despite the price surge, the region's cost of living remains below that of other large US markets, making it a smart pick for families and companies alike. But every heart market has its potential risks and Dallas Fort Worth is no exception. Yeah, so you basically can take this information with a grain of salt, right? It, it doesn't guarantee prices are going to continue to skyrocket. It doesn't guarantee prices are going down. It's just more or less to be aware of what is happening to the area so you aren't caught slipping 
if you are planning to buy in the years from now, or maybe you're trying to sell right now and you're not getting your dollar price, well, it's all coming. People are coming. Properties are coming. New construction and development is coming. So I think where the trouble is, is you are starting to see certain areas, Keller, Colleyville, you know, Flower Mound, even parts of Bedford and North Richland Hills, where the price points are now, I mean, much above 800K for some neighborhoods. So certain areas, people will be priced out of slowly. And that can be a negative thing depending on what you are trying to do you know what i mean there's there's a lot of situations where i go across a house and it's six hundred thousand, you know and it pretty much needs thirty thousand fifty thousand of work to get it where it's nice and and and, and really pretty and livable and you're, you're happy to be in there so that's kind of tough for people to swallow if they may qualify for 600 but they don't really have a lot of capital on hand for repairs now of course with every single deal you can negotiate some terms to help you out with repairs or money towards closing so that way you can use some of that closing cost for repairs that's a whole nother a uh, whole nother conversation and it depends on the home right if the home's got a lot of attention most likely they won't be willing to do much because they have someone that uh, doesn't care but this is the time if you are looking for these types of deals right double inventory from last year prices have stabilized at the moment just due to seasons it's going to probably pick up uh, december january and then spring and summer now does that mean prices will only continue up from there no of course they always have their ebbs and flows we are definitely in the stability zone right I, I i there is definitely room for certain areas to go down and certain properties to go down but then there's definitely homes going above asking now i've seen this typically the price point is above 600k but if the home is beautiful in a great location and has a lot of attention you are starting to see homes go above asking in days so it's a very exciting market okay if you made it this far, if you have any questions whatsoever, you're trying to rent, buy, sell, anything regarding real estate, uh, check the description. My contact information will be there. If you made it this far, I hope you learned a little bit of something. If you're feeling the vibe, subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Again, my name is Trevon. I work with Century 21, Mike Bowen. All right. Have a great day. Century 21 Real Estate. Move fearlessly.